Yo, what's up everybody? It's Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Emmis and I got a great tutorial for you guys today, man. I'm going to go over three ways to make a performance track. So when you're out there performing your songs, you go ahead and kill it and you're not just rapping over your MP3 tracks. First though, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Right now I'm really trying to get my subscribers up to that thousand mark, so that would really be appreciated. Thank you very much. Let's get right to it. All right, cool. So let me pull up the screen right now. And let's just get right into this. All right, so I'm gonna pull up Pro Tools on a fresh session right now. As you can see, that everything is just default. There's no BPM set, nothing. So I'm gonna import the beat uh, for which I wanna make a performance track for. I'm gonna pull up the beat, just the beat by itself. Um, so very important that you have the beat just by itself. Usually when you purchase the beat before you start recording on it and all that, that's how you will have it. Uh, so let me go ahead and bring that up real quick. The, that's the beat loaded up so I have the beat just by itself first thing you want to do is uh, set the BPM if you do this it's gonna make everything so much more easier you're not gonna have to play games with all this and all that it just it's gonna snap it to the grid a lot easier so first thing you want to do is usually I drag this right on over to right when the beat really starts to drop when that kick drops and all that uh, I'm gonna bring in a click track. Go ahead and create a click track as well. Uh, you can mute that for right now. Zoom in a little, just a little. Okay, so check this out. Uh, usually this is unhighlighted for the regular people right here, uh, but this right here is called tab to transient. You wanna highlight that, make sure that, that, that it's highlighted like that. Um, and the tab to transient is gonna allow you when you click on the B, and you click tab after you click on the beat you press tab it's gonna take you to every time the beat has a transient or basically a transient means every time the beat has like some type of break in it like a snare or a kick so go ahead and hit tab tab so I'm gonna take it usually I take it right when there's a clear spot where the beat starts usually like after the intro and all that and that's where I'm gonna make my break so right there on that transient where the quick uh, the kick drops and then boom, it goes full force with the beat. That's where I'm gonna make my transient. So right there, I'm gonna bring this uh, BPM slider all the way to where the transient is. Now to make sure that you get it right on the transient, you're gonna wanna go hit shift and E, no wait, control E, control E on where that transient was so that it's gonna split your audio and then you have a, a sure spot where that, where that cut is, where that perfect transient is. So then now we get the BPM and we slide it. Now zoom all the way in. Cause you can see as you zoom all the way in that it's not really on there. So boom, now it's on there. And I can't zoom anymore. So that's how you know it's perfectly on there. So dude, now that you got that, you're ready to go. So now what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna hit spacebar to play. And then when you hit play, go ahead and double click on that BPM and it's gonna pop it up like this. Once everything's popped up like this, now you can hit the T, the number, uh, the letter T on your keyboard to the B and you hit it every time you hit the kick, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you just hit the T and what that's gonna do is that it's gonna find the BPM for you. All right, so I usually do it like, you know, eight times to get a good run, uh, to get a good run. So as you can see, it set my BPM to 88 BPM per minute. And then, so now we go to that click track. We unmute it. We could click, we could turn up the volume a little bit. And then. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you can hear the click the BPM is set to the beat. So now we got that all snapped to the grid. We have the BPM set. You're ready to bring in the, the vocals. So now, there's, I told you I'm gonna show you three different ways to make a performance track. This is the foreground. This is the four work you have to do, you know, for any of the performance tracks that you're gonna do. Now the route you're gonna take, it depends on what you have available. Now I know, um, so the first one is gonna, I'm gonna show you is if you go to a booth or a recording studio and they record you and they send you your mix. All right, so the first route is gonna be if you go to a booth or a recording studio, 
when they bounce out your mix, you want them to bounce out a second mix as well. And you want that second mix to be an acapella with the beat muted. You want your vocals, the ad-libs, all the effects, all that, uh, just the beat muted. So acapella track. When they bounce that out to you, go ahead and pull that up from your downloads or wherever you have it in your files. So I'm going to pull mine up right here. So boom. So... So when they send it out to you, you'll probably be in a stereo version. You might need a stereo track for this. So that's what I did right there so that you have both of them in one track. So once you have that, you should be able to just slide it on over and then it should just be already on beat. So, okay, so that's like the easiest way is when you take it to a professional recording booth and you ask them to bounce you out two different mixes. They, be, uh, they bounce you out an acapella mix and then they bounce you out a regular mix. That acapella mix, you could then later on take and make your own performance track. So what I do when I make a performance track is basically this. I keep the chorus and then I cut out the verses. So that's pretty simple, right? This is where, this is where the verse starts. So I would just take this verse. I can leave that part right there because that right there is kind of like a little alib. It kind of helps fill that gap. So I'll leave that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I just cut out the verses. And then you can, you could eventually lower this down for the hooks that do stay there. You just lower the hooks down because you want the hooks to be there, but you don't want them to be overpowering and have you rapping over it when you're doing the performance live. You just need it kind of there as an underline to help give it some, you know, character and, you know, resemblance of the original track. This is like a little bridge right here. So I'm gonna leave the bridge as well. I'll leave the bridge and the chorus. Um, but yeah, I take out all the verses. And that's it. So you just have basically your chorus, you know, your chorus, your bridge, your, you know. I don't even like even having an intro. So that intro right there, I'm gonna take that out. Yeah. This like little pre-chorus right here. But I took out the intro, cause the intro, to be honest, I don't want an intro, cause usually that's, I'm using that time to talk to the crowd, you know, get them amped up for the track that's about to come. You know? So that's number one way to make a performance track if you go and you get your stuff recorded by someone else. All right, so that's the first way to make your performance track. Second way to make your performance track Let's see. So let's say the second, so the second example is basically if you went to a, you know, someone and they recorded you, but you didn't ask them to send you that second mix of your acapella. So you don't have it. You only have the mastered track, which is basically your beat and your whole track, you know? So how do you make a performance track out of that? Well, you've probably seen this called 
lala.ai. It's L A L A L dot A I. And that right there can split your audio. It can split your mastered track down to its instrumental and the um, acapella of the vo vocals. But there's a catch. Uh, if you want it to be completely free, they only give you a snippet of that acapella. So what I use that snippet, I usually just upload my, uh, my master track of the hook because the hook is the only thing you really need and you don't need the verses. So upload the hook and then it's gonna separate the hook from the beat. Um, you could try uploading your whole track and see what it gives you and all that, but if it doesn't give you the piece that you need, try uh, you know doing like an audio recording of your master track playing, but only play the the chorus and then upload that audio recording of just your chorus with the beat and all that and it should separate your chorus from the the beat so go ahead when you do this and you separate it let's say for example my master track All right, so right now I just uploaded my master track called Remedy uh, up into this website and it should be splitting it right now. It takes a little bit of a time, but I mean, it's worth it if you don't have that acapella version. Hence, that's why there's a benefit to trying to do more things as you can by yourself. If you're a recording artist, learning how to record yourself and all that can save you so much money and time because it's gonna get to my third way. When it comes to the third way of making your performance track, it's gonna be for if you record your own stuff. The probably, in my opinion, the most genuine and best efficient way to go. So check this out. All right, so it split my uh, beat up. It split my whole track up. So it has the vocals and then it has the instrumental. So literally this is from the beginning and it gives you, I think like the first minute or so. So right here's the chorus and to be honest with you I mean the quality is not like stellar it's not but it's free you know what I mean um, you can kind of sometimes hear the little you can maybe hear the beat a little bit in the background but honestly when you get everything mixed up for the performance track it sounds good sorry uh, Okay, so check this out. So it's already downloading on my screen, as you can see right there. Okay. So once it downloads, um, now you can open up your Pro Tools session. So boom, boom. As you can see, I already have it loaded down here. I have the uh, actual beat because I still have the beat from when I bought it. Um, I have the original beat, just the beat by itself. So I uploaded that. Um, and I did my routine work to get the BPM, which is 80 BPM. Everything's set to the grid right here. And these are the audio recordings that I downloaded from the, that I downloaded from lala.ai. So let's see, I'll do it again just for the, just for the show. All right, so we basically get the audio file from lala.ai. You load it into here. So it should be just the beginning of the track like that. I have the BPM set and all that. When you have the BPM set to the grid and all that, it's so much easier to just get everything snapped to the beat. So just like that, I have the second performance track already ready. Both of them made by different ways. So boom. And the third final way to make your performance track DIY would be if you're recording your own music by yourself, if you record your own audio, record your own vocals on your beats, uh, in my opinion, it's gonna be the best in terms of helping you make your performance track, and this is how. Um, the reason being why I think this is one of the best routes is one when it comes to this. 
So check it out, as you can see on the screen here, I have all my audio recordings that I did here on myself, I recorded myself and the beat. Now this is gonna be the easiest because instead of, you've already had your BPM set up, you have everything already, like if you mastered your own track. Now what you can do is you go in and you can just basically solo the parts that you want. You know, you wanna mute out the verses, so you'll mute the verses, the intros. Boom, boom. But you want to keep all these little ad libs. All these little ad libs right here, you go ahead and keep those. Those little sound effects and all that. These ad libs right here, go ahead and keep those as well. And this is your chorus right here. Your chorus, like we said, in all the performance tracks, we're going to keep the chorus. You know what I mean? So we have the choruses kept right here. These are all choruses. Go ahead and you can keep all these ad libs right here. right here this is a little intro so i'll go ahead and take that out i have the other intro muted right there now it's just ad lib so all these are ad libs i'm gonna go ahead and keep those because when you're doing your verses live those ad libs are gonna actually help and give some flavor to your verses so this is why i think when you record your own um it's a lot better in making your own performance tracks because you're gonna have ad libs in your verses whereas in the other two ways that i showed you it's pretty much this pretty much there's no ad libs there's no verses it's just the hooks you know what i mean and then in this route that you're taking you have all your ad libs um no verses but you have the ad libs to those verses and then you have your choruses as well so it kind of just gives it more of a when you perform it live, it's going to sound a lot more better and it's going to be just a lot more closer to that original track But without you rapping over your mp3 tracks and all that And also it's probably the easiest way to do it You just go in and you start muting stuff whereas you don't have to create a whole new performance track Everything's already there and then you can unmute it and get back into your master track the way it was before you You know did it or just close the session without saving any of the changes, you know um, So yeah, that's basically the third way to make your performance track so there you guys have it, three different ways to make a performance track completely DIY. I hope this really helped you guys because I know there's not a lot of YouTube videos right now going over this DIY way. So if it really helped you guys out, I really appreciate it. If you guys did that, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next and anything else I can help you guys with. Peace out.